Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about adjuvant therapy for breast cancer. So what is this adjuvant therapy? Adjuvant is that which is given after the definite surgery in order to prevent the cancer from coming back or spreading to distant organs. What is the assumption of giving adjuvant therapy? It's like a preventive treatment, but it relies on the fact then once the tumor crosses two centimeters in size or the tumor has spread to the underarm lymph nodes, it has a tendency for cells to break away from the tumor and run around in the bloodstream throughout the body. These small cells are called micrometastases. In order to kill these micrometastases and make sure the cancer never comes back, we give adjuvant therapy. So when a lady walks into my clinic, what I do first is I see the size of her tumor. I see the number of lymph nodes that have been involved with the tumor. And I roughly estimate the risk of the tumor coming back or spreading in other places. Once we've calculated that risk, we then look at something known as estrogen, progesterone and HER2 receptor status. This has already been tested in your tumor sample. What does it mean? These receptors are nothing but buttons on the surface of the tumor cell. And depending on the combination of ER, PR and HER2 receptors, whether they are present or absent, breast cancers can be divided into three different types. The first type is estrogen and or progesterone receptor positive and HER2 negative. This is a slow growing cancer. It tends to occur in older women. It is driven by the hormone estrogen and it can come back either within the first five years or even 20 years later. For this, we use mainly hormonal therapy, chemotherapy sometimes. The second type of cancer is negative for all, that is triple negative breast cancer. This happens in younger women. It is a very aggressive type. And today we use different types of chemotherapy, including platinum drugs for this particular type. And if it comes back, it comes back in the first four to five years. After that, it usually does not come back. There are newer agents like immunotherapy, which are also coming in for triple negative. The third type, where estrogen and progesterone can be positive or negative, but the HER2 is positive. The HER2 receptor positive breast cancers make up 20% of all breast cancers. These are very aggressive and not treated, but today we have such excellent drugs for this particular type of breast cancer. Both targeted therapy, trastuzumab, pertuzumab, and chemotherapy are used, that perhaps this is the subtype which we can truly say can be cured. Now, there are lots of decisions that need to be made also regarding the age of the patient, the presence of diabetes, the presence of blood pressure, the general condition of the patient. So your oncologist will personalize your adjuvant therapy according to you. Another thing you must know is that we calculate the risk of an untreated patient developing cancer in the future, breast cancer. And nobody's risk is zero. Even a normal woman has an 8% lifetime risk of getting breast cancer. So while we, with all these treatments, you get an additive effect. You have, say, 5% with the chemo, 8% with the hormone, another 3-4% with the radiation. So it's an additive risk. And you bring the risk of a breast cancer patient close to a normal person's risk. So no risk is ever 0%, all right? Radiation is also another adjuvant treatment that is available and it prevents the breast cancer from coming back within the breast and armpit. So today we talked about adjuvant treatments for breast cancer. And if you have any doubts, please do go ahead and discuss this with your oncologist. Thank you. Thank you.